Tree Parade Serenade was provided by Marine Band San Diego, Marine Corps Crew Depot, San Diego, California. The Marine Corps has played an active role in San Diego history ever since Marines from the Sloop of War Cyan seized Old Town during the Mexican-American War in 1846. Marines have been stationed at the Recruit Depot since 1921, when most of the buildings here front were constructed. These buildings, known as the Arcade, were designed by world-famous architect Bertram Goodhue. The Arcade is among 25 buildings that have qualified for inclusion on the National Register of Historic Places and are outstanding examples of Spanish colonial revival architecture. Since 1923, more than a million Marines have completed their recruit training here at Marine Corps Recruit Depot San Diego, and since 1915 at the Marine Corps East Coast Recruit Training Depot at Paris Island, South Carolina. Regardless of where a Marine attended boot camp, you can rest assured that they received the toughest and most physically and mentally demanding recruit training offered anywhere in the world. Some individual techniques and methods may have evolved over the years, but the focus and adherence to our core values of honor, courage, and commitment are as strong today as any time in our history. Today, the Marines of Company A accept the responsibilities to safeguard this proud tradition as they step forward to join this rich heritage. Ahead of them lie bright futures that will no doubt add to the proud Marine legacy that they now rightfully claim as their own. Corporal Manny is a four-year-old full-blooded English Bulldog born in Fallbrook, California on July 9, 2018. He is named in honor of Sergeant Johnny R. Mamalito Sr., one of the original 29 Navajo co-talkers who trained in the first all-Navajo platoon here aboard the depot in 1942. Sergeant Mamalito helped create the code that the Navajos developed at Camp Elliott, now Marine Corps Air Station Miramar. He became an instructor, teaching other Navajo Marines the Navajo Code. Later, Sergeant Mamalito participated in the Battle of Iwo Jima, where a Marine signals officer stated, had it not been for the code talkers, we would have never taken Iwo Jima. Corporal Manning continues the tradition of a long line of Marine Corps Bulldog mascots, dating back to 1921, when Brigadier General Smedley Butler appointed Sergeant Major Jiggs as the first Bulldog mascot for Marine Corps Barracks Quantico. He's being escorted by the Office of Communication Strategy and Operations, Corporal Max J. Noel. Spiritual development plays an important part in the making of a United States Marine. Lieutenant Amy Roof Bryan, Chaplain Corps, United States Navy, will deliver the graduation prayer. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise. Let us pray. Holy One, on this day of great celebration, we give you thanks for these young men of Company A who have earned the title Marine. We give you thanks for the gifts and abilities you have given to each one of them, which they now bring to strengthen our Marine Corps. We give you thanks for the drill instructors, company officers, and battalion leadership who have shaped and molded these young men into Marines. We are grateful this day for the families who have supported them every step of their journey, for their mothers and fathers, sisters and brothers, grandparents, aunts, uncles, and friends, we give you thanks. We ask, O oh Holy One, that you be with these new Marines as they continue in their training. Keep them safe and bless them. Remind them to be always faithful to their country, to their core, to each other, and to themselves, just as you, O Holy One, are always faithful. Bless our nation, bless these new Marines, and God, bless the United States Marine Corps. Amen. Thank you. Please be seated. The Commanding General, Marine Corps Crew Depot San Diego, welcomes you to what is a historic event in the life of a Marine their graduation from boot camp. Approximately 40 weeks each year for the past 100 years, new Marines have departed San Diego for service with units of the Marine Corps around the globe. The primary mission of the Recruit Depot is to provide basic training to recruits enlisted west of the Mississippi, which represents approximately 51% of all applicants in the Marine Corps each year. The Depot is also home to Recruiter School, 
and Drill Instructor School. All our efforts here are geared toward one end, producing America's finest fighting force, the United States Marines. This morning, Company A, 1st Recruit Training Battalion, Recruit Training Regiment, will form and march in the parade. Following the passing review, the graduating Marines will return front and center of the reviewing stand for final dismissal. The staff for today's parade is comprised of Marines from the Recruit Training Regiment. The Commander of Troops is 1st Sergeant Bridget E. Bellman, Company 1st Sergeant, Company A, 1st Recruit Training Battalion. The parade adjutant is Sergeant Joshua G. Molly, Drill Instructor, Company A, 1st Recruit Training Battalion, Recruit Training Regiment. The marching units are now being called to attention, and the adjutant's command, sound adjutant's call, will begin today's parade. Marching in today's parade are 504 of the graduating Marines from Company A. Among the 504 Marines are two Marines who displayed outstanding performances in two individually graded events. Private Luis N. Nino Mosa from Platoon 1003 is the Company High Shooter, scoring a 336 out of 350. Private First Class Chancey D. Knopf from Platoon 1005 is the most physically fit Marine, scoring a 296 out of 300 on the physical fitness test and a 300 out of 300 on the combat fitness test. They will be receiving awards from the Marine Corps Association and Foundation. Present today is the Company Honor Graduates Recruiter, Staff Sergeant Francis C. Nolan. Also present today is the Primary Marksmanship Instructor with a platoon high shooting average of 215 for platoon 1003, Sergeant Zachary B. McKinley. Recruit training is comprised of subjects required to produce basic Marines who function effectively in garrison, are trained in rudimentary individual field and combat skills, and practice the personal and professional traits which distinguish them as Marines. Examples of these traits are Discipline The achievement of a state of discipline which assures respect for authority, instant and willing obedience to orders, and the self-reliance to maintain or improve those traits which exemplify a Marine. Military bearing, consistently demonstrating military presence and personal awareness, as well as the proper wearing and maintenance of uniforms. Esprit de corps, acquiring the common spirit of the Marine Corps that inspires enthusiasm, devotion, pride, initiative, teamwork, aggressiveness, determination, moral courage, integrity, camaraderie, and the burning desire to work with and for others toward excellence in common goals. For 246 years, Marines have fought and won whenever and wherever the nation calls, in the harshest conditions, over the most brutal terrain, and against the most formidable enemies, Marines defend the ideals of freedom with grit and tenacity. Though battlefields change and capabilities evolve, history proves that true victory comes from the individual Marine. With steel resolve, the drive to overcome any obstacle, and the warrior spirit to fight on against all odds. It takes that steadfast faithfulness, semper fidelis, decor, country, and each other that abounds throughout our storied legacy. Marines today remain in combat, four deployed throughout the world, confronting every challenge with courage, loyalty, and faithfulness. They are resolved to be most ready when the nation is least ready, to defend freedom anytime and anywhere, to stand ready to aid those devastated by natural disasters, to pay tribute to those who have forged our proud legacy, and to honor the families and loved ones who faithfully stand beside us. For the Marines of Company A, today marks the end of the 13-week recruit training cycle. They have marched countless miles at Camp Pendleton and on this parade deck, and have been trained, as are all Marines, as basic riflemen. In addition, due to an intensive physical training program, their strength and endurance have doubled since their arrival aboard the recruit depot. 
their Marines, qualified to take their places in the ranks of the world's finest fighting organization. The platoons are now being aligned from left to right in order to get them into their exact positions for the parade. The next portion of the ceremony will be our national anthem. We welcome veterans and members of the armed forces to join us in rendering appropriate honors with a military salute. For guests who have not served in the military, it is proper etiquette during the national anthem to place their right hand over their hearts and for those in the audience wearing headgear to remove it. Will the guests please rise for the presentation of the colors. Ladies and gentlemen, our national anthem.
Thank you. Please be seated. Following the command, Parade Rest, the Parade Adjutant will give the command sound off, which signals the band to parade forward of the assembled Marines while playing military marching music.
The parade adjutant now presents the assembled command to the commander of troops. At the command, officer center march. All unit commanders and guide on bearers march to the front and center of the formation. Historically, it was at this point that commanding officers would issue orders and instructions to the unit commanders. Following this, the unit leaders would face about, return to their units, and pass the information along to their Marines.
Throughout our nation's history, millions of men and women have earned the title United States Marine. Many who have helped shape our history join us here today. In keeping with the tradition of once a Marine, always a Marine, we would like to recognize them. At this time, those in the audience who have served as Marines, please rise. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for their dedicated service to Corps and country. Thank you. Please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, the Battalion Commander for First Recruit Training Battalion, Lieutenant Colonel Gregory A. Grayson. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of our Commanding General, Brigadier General Morris, and the Regimental Commander, Colonel Jones, Welcome to Marine Corps Recruit Depot San Diego and the graduation ceremony for Alpha Company! I'd also like to extend a special welcome to today's parade reviewing official, Sergeant Major Laura Brown, who's joining us from San Antonio, Texas, where after more than 30 years of dedicated service to corn country, she's enjoying every second of her well-deserved retirement. Sergeant Major, it's great to see you and welcome. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the purpose of today's ceremony is to recognize these new Marines and everything they've accomplished. Their journey began 13 long weeks ago when they stepped on the yellow footprints and committed to becoming Marines. They arrived as individuals, perhaps a little unsure of their decision, but stand before you as a confident team of smartly disciplined Marines. During the past three months, we developed their physical and mental toughness, they learned essential warfighting skills, and they proved themselves to be leaders of character. But most of all, they came to embrace our core values of honor, courage and commitment with a clear understanding that being a Marine carries a special trust and confidence in the highest expectations of the American people. Now, as you might imagine, this awesome and very magical transformation didn't happen by itself, and I'd like to thank those who were involved. First, we recognize each Marine's journey started long before they got here. The foundation of their character started with you, in your homes, in your schools, in your communities. I want to thank all the parents, families, friends, as well as teachers and coaches for everything you've done. I assure you that your love and your support was vital to their success. So thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Now I'd like to turn your attention to the Marines wearing the distinctive campaign covers, our drill instructors. It's impossible for me to put into words their passion work ethic and commitment. From the moment a recruit arrives, there is a drill instructor with them 24 hours a day, seven days a week. They have spent every waking hour teaching, training, mentoring, and leading these young men. Ladies and gentlemen, these drill instructors have made a tremendous and lasting impact on your loved one. And I'd be remiss if I didn't also recognize their spouses and their families who sacrificed equally for the benefit of your new Marine. So please join me in a well-deserved round of applause for the drill instructors and families of Alpha Company! Thank you. Finally, I'd like to recognize our highly skilled marksmanship, martial arts, water survival, and academics instructors. Our incredible chaplain, corpsman, and entire medical team who do an amazing job at ensuring our physical, mental, and spiritual readiness. And of course, the dedicated recruiter who saw potential in your Marine. In fact, Sergeant McKinley is joining us from Weapons Field Training Battalion where he coached and trained the platoon with the highest rifle range score. And next to him is Staff Sergeant Nolan who's joining us from Indianapolis where he recruited today's honorman. Job well done, gentlemen. Keep up the great work. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you'll please excuse me, I'd like to address the new Marines one last time as their battalion commander. Good morning, Marines. Hey, Alpha Company, I know it seems like a lifetime ago when you were offered the challenge of becoming a Marine. 
When you arrived on your buses and stepped on the yellow footprints, graduation was the last thing on your mind. You're probably thinking, what have I gotten myself into and how do I get these guys to stop yelling at me? Well, you had a lot to learn and some very steep hills to climb, but you did it. You have rightfully earned the title Marine. Be proud of your accomplishment and the uniform that you now wear. And finally, as I remarked on your first day of training, whether you serve for four years or 31 years like the Sergeant Major, remember, it's not about you. It's about all the Marines who have gone before you whose legacy you are now a part of. It's about that Marine standing to your left and to your right. It's about all these people in the stands in this great nation which you sworn to defend. So, serve with honor, serve with courage, serve with commitment, and you'll do well. Congratulations again, Marines, on your tremendous achievement. Please, take care of one another and remain Semper Fidelis. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce to you America's newest United States Marines. Now taking their position in the reviewing area is today's parade reviewing official, Sergeant Major Laura L. Brown, United States Marine Corps, retired. She is accompanied by Sergeant Major Paul F. Aiken, Sergeant Major for Recruit Training Regiment. Sergeant Major Laura L. Brown, United States Marine Corps, retired. Sergeant Major Brown was born in San Antonio, Texas. She reported to Marine Corps Recruit Depot, Paris Island, South Carolina in 1998 for recruit training. Upon graduation, she received training at Marine Corps Administrative School and received the Military Occupational Specialty of 0111 Administrative Marine. Sergeant Major Brown has served in a variety of challenging billets in numerous commands to include Finance Clerk at Cherry Point, North Carolina, Pay Clerk at Quantico, Virginia, Drill Instructor and Drill Master at 4th Recruit Training Battalion, Paris Island, South Carolina, Military Pay Auditor at Iwakuni, Japan, Sergeant Major for Marine Aviation Logistics Squadron 36, Marine Aircraft Group 36, Base Sergeant Major for Marine Corps Base, Quantico, Virginia, Command Senior Enlisted Leader at Training and Education Command, Quantico, Virginia. Sergeant Major Brown retired in January of 2015 and is currently pursuing her master's de degree in public administration at Texas State University. Sergeant Major Brown's personal awards include the Legion of Merit, the Meritorious Service Medal with two gold stars in lieu of third award, the Navy and Marine Corps Commendation Medal with three gold stars in lieu of fourth award, the Navy and Marine Corps Achievement Medal, the Good Conduct Medal, Military Outstanding Volunteer Service Ribbon, and the Drill Instructor Ribbon with one gold star in lieu of second award. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Sergeant Major Laura L. Brown.
More than a million Marines have been trained here in the past 100 years and have departed San Diego for combat in conflicts around the world, including places whose names are immediately associated with Marine courage and dedication. Names such as Guadalcanal, Tarawa, Iwo Jima, Pusan, Inchon, Chosen Reservoir, Quezon, Way City, Lebanon, Grenada, Panama, Kuwait, Somalia, Fallujah, Ramadi, Marja, Sangen, and our most current operations worldwide. This parade deck is rich in history and tradition, and no Marine trained here ever forgets its sights and sounds. Ladies and gentlemen, the Commander of Troops, First Sergeant Bridget E. Bellman, Company First Sergeant and the Regimental Staff. Ladies and gentlemen, as the national flag passes directly in front of you, please rise. Once it passes, you may be seated. Marine Band San Diego, Marine Corps Crew Depot, San Diego, California. <laughs> Series 1001, Chief Drill Instructor, Staff Sergeant Luis M. Reyes. Platoon 1001, Senior Drill Instructor, Sergeant Manuel A. Mejia. Honor Platoon 1003, Senior Drill Instructor, Staff Sergeant Arthur C. Tristan. Regimental Color Guard is led by the Regimental Color Sergeant, Drill Instructor Sergeant Demarcus Hill. Series 1005, Chief Drill Instructor Staff Sergeant Fernando Carrillo. Platoon 1005, Senior Drill Instructor, Staff Sergeant Peter M. McCall. <laughs> Platoon. 
Alpha 2, 1006. Senior Drill Instructor, Staff Sergeant John J. Burphy III. Platoon 1007, Senior Drill Instructor, Staff Sergeant John J. T. is the third. Ladies and gentlemen, if you turn to page 21 of your graduation pamphlets, you will find the Marine's Hymn. The Marine's Hymn has a history dating back to 1859. It is a long-standing tradition for Marines to face the direction of the music and stand at attention when it is heard. It is now directed that all Marines present and who have served honorably, and ladies and gentlemen, you are all encouraged to join. Sing the words to the first verse as Marine Band San Diego performs, Anchors Away, followed by the Marine's Hymn. Will the guests please rise? Thank you. Please be seated. The Marine Corps' uniqueness and strength as an elite fighting force is directly attributable to the magnificent efforts of the drill instructors and company officers who train and supervise the recruits. The distinct qualities of spirit and discipline, the heart and soul of every Marine, have been developed, nurtured, and ingrained in recruits through their observance and relationship with their drill instructors and officers. Recruit training is the very foundation of the Corps. Each year, recruit training provides thousands of America's finest young men and women with the basic knowledge and skills to function in a profession characterized by its own set of high values and tough standards. The most important thing we do in the Marine Corps is make Marines. The individual Marine is the Corps. That is what we do here. For the Marines graduating today, the long, arduous journey of the last 13 weeks is but a small step into the future of the Marine Corps. As they prepare to fill the ranks of our Corps, they do so with unquestionable support for the high ideals and standards of the United States of America and the United States Marine Corps. Although Company A prepares for their final dismissal from boot camp today, their initial training is not over. Soon after graduation, they will report to the School of Infantry, Camp Pendleton, California where they will continue to be trained to serve as an effective member of a Marine Rifle Squad. The intense initial training that every Marine undergoes is designed to instill the fundamental premise that every Marine is a Rifleman.
Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we would like to introduce to you the Marines responsible for ensuring the success of the difficult transition required to become a Marine. The company commander is Captain Manuel A. Ramirez. The company first sergeant is First Sergeant Bridget E. Bellman. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in a round of applause for the company staff of Company A. The next portion of the ceremony will be the traditional function of retiring, the guidons. The guidons have been carried by the platoons throughout recruit training and are being retired to symbolize the disbanding of platoons. All similar units in the Marine Corps carry such guidons which identify the unit and are a source of pride to each individual member. Note that the honor of carrying these guidons is bestowed upon those Marines who display outstanding leadership qualities, motivation, and character, and were selected as the Platoon Honor Graduates. The Platoon Honor Graduates compete for the titles of Series and Company Honor Graduate. They are considered the top Marines graduating today and have demonstrated the highest potential for future leadership and responsibility in the Marine Corps. The guidons will now be returned to the drill instructors. graduates will now be presented a plaque by the battalion commander, Lieutenant Colonel Grayson, and the battalion sergeant major, Sergeant Major Reyes. Ladies and gentlemen, please hold your applause until all honor graduates have been recognized. Hand salute! Ready, two! The honor graduate for Platoon 1001 is Private First Class Dalton J. Pickard from Carterville, Missouri. The honor graduate for Platoon 1002 is Private First Class Marvin A. Velasquez from West Indy, Indiana. The honor graduate for Platoon 1003 and the company honor graduate is Private First Class Isaac N. Gilkey from Greenwood, Indiana. Private First Class Gilkey is also the recipient of the Chesty Puller Award for his outstanding meritorious performance while in recruit training. The Honor Graduate for Platoon 1005 and the Series Honor Graduate is Private First Class Albert A. Solorzano from Plano, Texas. The Honor Graduate for Platoon 1006 is Private First Class Matthew J. Orpesa 
from Sacramento, California. And the honor graduate for Platoon 1007 is Private First Class Abraham A. Salinas from Houston, Texas. Ladies and gentlemen, the honor graduates of Company A. The company first sergeant will now give the command to the senior drill instructors to dismiss their platoons. Needless to say, this will be the most welcome command they have received throughout recruit training. today's ceremony. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes today's ceremony. As a reminder, your Marines will have to report back to their squad base at 11.30 so their drill instructors can take them to pick up their uniforms. Marines, spend this time with your family. And remember, 11.30, report back to the Alpha squad base.